Dale Brown believed and achieved, and because of him, the history of LSU basketball is storied. The Hall of Fame coach delivered glory and championships to LSU and made the Tigers a national brand. After years of heated debate, LSU's Board of Supervisors finally voted to rename their basketball court in Dale's honor. The vote passed 12 to 3. In 1972, Dale Brown and his family headed to LSU to begin a new chapter. But before Baton Rouge came a strategic stop at UCLA, a visit with his hero, John Wooden. Widely considered one of the best coaches of all time, Wooden equipped Dale with a wealth of knowledge during their week together. Wooden's insights would serve as a beacon in Brown's quest to transform LSU. It wouldn't be easy but hardship was no stranger to Dale. He knew it like the back of his hand. And over the course of his life, he would turn that hardship into triumph. Where did your spirit and fight come from? Two days before I was born, my biological father abandoned my mother and I. It was 1935, the height of the depression, she came off a farm, uneducated, eighth grade, uh, couldn't get a job. We had to move into a one-room apartment above a bar and a hardware store. No toilet, no bath, no shower, nothing, one room. I never slept in a bed for 21 years. She had a little bed that pulled out from the wall. I had a sofa about five foot six. I could huddle in, touch her head at night. But it came from her. She never complained about her situation. She had to become a maid and babysit for people for 50 cents an hour. We had to take the demeaning thing of Ward County welfare, getting $42.50 a month. Well, if I see an injustice, I'm going to stand up for it. I got it from watching my mother getting beat, beaten up that I was gonna stand up for what was right. It's a philosophy Dale instilled in his players, teaching them how to win in basketball and how to win in life. It's no coincidence they call him Daddy Dale to this day, he protects them. He knows them. He remembers their birthdays. I know where all 160 are, and I try to talk to them on a regular basis. When I see them out at Roof Chris's or somewhere, they're like, have you talked to Coach Brown? Have I talked to him? I can't get him to stop emailing me. He's sending me, he's, he's sending me information every day. He's... Most people are, are what you call front runners. So everybody is for the guy that's winning. Everybody is for the guy that has all the money. Everybody is for the guy who's in first place. But the guy who didn't win, who was for that guy? And that's who Dale is. He's for, like, everybody. He's for the effort. At the September board meeting, a number of Dale's players spoke out in favor of the naming of Dale Brown Court, explaining that his legacy far outweighed any qualms discussed by the board. We're talking about not changing rules, changing rules. That's the same damn thing he did to the NCAA, making them think about how wrong they were in their actions and treatment for student athletes. Almost everybody has said, based on what they know, how great this guy is. And he changed the trajectory of the state of Louisiana and the mindset of all of the stereotypical negativities. The reason we talked about it for 10 years was because some folk didn't want to do it for this nigga loving Dale Brown. And it's time to get this done. He deserves it and we need to vote on Meantime, from their home, Dale and his wife, Vani, had begun to watch and listen to the meeting on YouTube. Both of us had tears in our eyes that this man had the courage and the honesty to stand up for what he thought was right. Doesn't he make a huge impact on people's Tremendous, lives? tremendous impact. He's what people would consider a world beater. He's a mover and a shaker. He's a change agent. He's uh, a motivator 
for the good of humanity. And also for the good of LSU basketball and its fans. The 15 straight national tournaments, four SEC titles, and two Final Fours with Dale in charge. I was a kid of 14 years old on the front row of your first game against Memphis State, oh. which the Hustlers won 94 wow. to 81, wow. a big upset. And uh, I've loved you ever since and cheered for you ever since and for to watch the meteoric rise of LSU basketball and what you did. Throughout his journey, Dale fought for justice, all the while imparting the lessons of his mother. If you spend too much time polishing your image, eventually you'll tarnish your character and be an unhappy man. You do what you know is right and stand up for it. I haven't been able to do that. You do it. Now, January 4th, LSU's game against Kentucky, that's the tentative date for the court naming ceremonies. Dale Brown's mother, Agnes Brown, never lived to see what her son would achieve. She died six months before he came to LSU. 